Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at the basics of Final Cut Pro. So since Apple came out with a new version of Final Cut Pro at a new lower price point, a lot of people have been considering switching from iMovie to Final Cut Pro. And it is a good choice as it's much more powerful. So if you use video editing in your work or you want to just advance beyond what iMovie has to offer, you may want to take a look. So when you first run Final Cut Pro, this is what it looks like. The basics are very similar to iMovie. You've got three major areas, the left and right on the top and here on the bottom. But things are reversed a bit. You see events and clips up here in the upper left. And you see your project here at the bottom. The upper right is a preview area just like an iMovie. Now let's start by importing some video. I'm going to go to File Import and get some files. Got some sample video here and I'm going to bring these in. I get to use the existing event. It created one with the date name when I first ran Final Cut. Or I can create a new one. And I can also elect to copy the video to the Final Cut folder or just leave it as is and use it where it is. So I'm going to use these default settings and hit import. And then it will bring in the video. Anytime Final Cut is doing something in the background, processing something, you'll see this circle here actually moving around and sometimes you actually see a percentage in it telling you how uh, much left it has uh, on the background process. So now that I've got some clips here I can click on them to view them in the project area here and use the controls below to see what I've got. I can also select the entire thing or only a portion of it if I want. And then of course I can drag it into the project. So let's create a new project down here. I'll hit the create new project below. I could also have used the plus button down here and I'll just name this new project. Now I have a timeline. So unlike iMovie where you can view the timeline in one linear line or you can view it sort of stacked, this is always going to be a line. And I could drag clips into this line very easily. And here it appears. I can expand the timeline using the controls here at the bottom right. So I can drag, say, another clip here and put it after this one. Now I can scrub along on the bottom here and see in the preview area what I'm looking at. I can do all sorts of things here. For instance, I can grab this area here and grab the right side of it and shorten it. I can do the same thing here on the right and grab it and shorten that. It will adjust the timeline as needed. I can even grab the beginning and shorten that as well. I can scroll or use gestures to go back and forth along the timeline like that. Now I can do a lot of things just like I can in iMovie. Like for instance clicking on transitions here. I can drag and drop a transition between these two videos like that. And I can preview it by scrubbing along. I can select some music and drag it to a music track if I wanted to down there and have multiple audio tracks. You can also select anything and just simply use the delete key to delete it. I can also layer video. So for instance if I wanted to put another piece of video on top I can just put it in there like that and you can see I've got a second layer of video there on top. So I can have that go on top of that video and as you'll learn later on you can do things like reduce the size of it and create picture in picture, multiple pictures, side by side, all sorts of things by layering one video on top of the other. And then you have a lot more possibilities than you did in iMovie. You can also add titling here and there's a lot more choices than there were before. And with anything like this you can simply select it and then go into edit and it will bring up an editor at the upper right and you can see all sorts of things about say the text and changing the type of text, uh, the video effect for that thing that you've got selected and if I select something else like say this piece of video here you can see it changes here all the properties and you do all sorts of things like transforms, cropping, distortions, all sorts of different effects that I can apply to the individual pieces here. Even transitions themselves have adjustments that you can make. And when you're done with your video, of course, you can go to the share menu. There are a lot of presets here for sharing something where you can just use the plain export movie and export using a variety of settings there. 
So there's a very brief look at Final Cut Pro, just the basics, and in the future I'll have some more videos that delve deeper into specific subjects like say using transitions or layering video. But I hope you found this useful. And until next time, this is Gary with MacMOS Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.